Ever since he was a little kid, freshman Ryan Pombaum has had a connection with soccer. I started when I was around four years old. I played like rec and comp and my dad kind of brought me into it. Ever since he was little, he just kind of had this fire inside him. Ryan's passion for soccer brought him here to Argentina, the number one soccer country in the world where he was asked to play for a pro team. We went to Argentina for a vacation um, and spent two weeks with him training soccer. It was hard because I had friends and family here, but it was all worth it. Because of his hard work and dedication, soccer became Ryan's whole life. Literally. The people in Argentina live and breathe soccer. I definitely spent less time on, in the schooling and more, more time on my soccer. After three years of living the life as a pro, Ryan came back to the U.S. and Rockland to focus on school. But his passion for the sport did not stop. Ryan is now on the varsity soccer team. Hey, let's go. He's got um, a wonderful first touch. We could always use more and more of those kind of players. He's got a really, a really high soccer IQ. He's a, really smart on the field. A lot of the passes that normally won't happen, he makes happen. Ryan said the team has embraced him, even though he's the only freshman on the team. They treat me the same as everybody else. They, they just treat me like another one of the guys. At first I was like, really, that's him? Because, like, you know, he's not, I was expecting some, like, six-foot, like, big guy, but no, it's like a little, little pom-pom. We call him uh, pom-pom. <laughs> According to an NCAA survey, less than 1% of male high school soccer players turn pro. However, Ryan is striving to beat the odds. He already has colleges looking at him. Again, if you represent the U.S. at the age of 14, chances are you're going to be playing soccer for quite some time. I want to play in college and also hopefully go pro. Reporting for WCTV19 with photographer Kayla Daughters, I'm Sydney Brandt.